I'll start with vacancies on the board committees and commissions. There is one vacancy in the Architectural Preservation District Commission, one vacancy until the next annual town election for the Cemetery Commission, two vacancies on the Finance Committee, one regular member and one associate vacancy on the Green Communities Committee, one member at large vacancy on the Open Space Committee, and one vacancy on the Personnel Committee. Anyone interested in any of these positions can find the volunteer application form on the town website, complete the form and return it to the select board's office. And if you have any questions on the roles and responsibilities, you can contact our office at 978-582-4130, extension 144. For employment opportunities for the town, the following is a list of vacancies. Assistant to the sewer business manager, which is 19 hours a week. Assistant town accountant, 32 hours a week. Assistant mail site manager, 19 and a half hours a week. Conservation administrator, 36 hours a week. Facilities superintendent, 40 hours a week. Finance director, 40 hours a week. Two heavy equipment operator positions, which is 40 hours a week. Principal assessor, which is 40 hours a week. Two seasonal cemetery laborers. And videographer, which is two to 10 hours on average. Information on these positions can be also be found on the town, town website under job opportunities and how to apply. An update on certification of property values, certification of new growth and third quarter preliminary tax bills for fiscal 24. The Bureau of Local Assessment approved the request for a valuation delay beyond the January 1st deadline on September 13th, and that was done through Gateway. That's the system that is logged in and where we file our, our forms with DOR. Through conversations with our Bureau of Local Assessment field representative and our Bureau of Local Accounts field representative, since our property values will not be certified until February, our new growth will not be certified until DOR certifies our values. And that is uh, going according to Vision's uh, time frame for their projects. So they would submit the values um, at the end of January, beginning of February, and that certification process would be taken over by DUR. This equates to using the same estimate that we used at the annual town meeting for new growth at the upcoming fall town meeting. We will need to submit a pro forma recap after the special town meeting, and once approved, can mail out the third quarter estimated tax bills before December 31st, and they will be due by February 1st. I spoke with another community that went through a third quarter preliminary billing, and they provided us with a template for a bill insert for the third and fourth quarter bills, which we'll use as a starting point. And this will provide information to taxpayers um, on what they'll expect to receive for um, the third and fourth quarter bills, and what to expect more for the fourth quarter actual bills. An update on the LED streetlight project. Our contractor has converted approximately 50 lights thus far, and we met with Unitil today, and our contractor will be documenting any wiring issues they find in the field, and we will provide all this information to Unitil at the conclusion of the project to review the costs with the town and Unitil. That's all I have for tonight. All right. Uh, thank you to the town manager. Do we have any questions related to the town manager's report this evening? I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. um, with respect to some of the open employment opportunities, mm -hmm. are you seeing any more applications, any signs that things may be changing for the better as far as finding? Uh, I can say, here? honestly, no. I'm not seeing any trend changes in that. But How many... How many f heavy... Machinery, uh, machine Two. operators. No, those oh, are how many? In break? all, yeah. Um, I think we have. Like how many, uh, what percentage are we short? So two out of six, I believe. Okay. Down. So, okay, thirty-three percent. All right. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I was just adding up those hours. Um, that's two hundred and seventy-six hours a week, and I think my math is correct with mm -hmm. that. Um, which you know, divided times fifty-two divided by twelve. It's almost 1,200 hours a month, 1,198 hours mm -hmm. of work that, you know, the residents and the taxpayers are expecting to be performed, but we don't have the personnel uh, to do them. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Any other questions or comments related to the town manager report? 